Hello YouTubers, it's Michelle and I'm here today with a design team project for Diamond Guys. It's going to be a mini album that I've worked on over the last few days that I'm actually going to be donating to a crop that's going to be held here over the weekend. Um, and they're having the crop to raise some money for a special little fur baby um, that's going to have some medical costs and stuff because... Uh, she has a little problem with her heart, so you know me, I'm a huge animal lover, and I love my fur babies, so anything that I can do to help out, so I'm going to donate the album, and I'm not sure if they're doing a raffle on it, or if they're doing a silent auction, or what they're going to do, but um, anyway, I decided to do this because um, the owner of the fur baby, she actually owns a scrapbook store here locally. And she's really helped me out tremendously in raising some uh, money for some upcoming uh, medical uh, expenses that I'm going to have here in the near future. So I wanted to do something to help out. So this was my little contribution. So I wanted to share with you guys. And of course I used a whole bunch of my diamond dies. So before I show you the project, I'm going to share with you the dies that I use. And before I do that, I do want to remind you that if you visit Diamond Dies at www.diamonddies.com and you use my coupon code, thanks Michelle, all lowercase letters, that you will receive 10% plus free shipping on your order. And that does include international, so it is worldwide. And I have all the information listed right here. And as I always do, I will also have it listed down below in the description as well. So definitely go check out Diamond Eyes' site. And uh, if you decide to place an order and it's over $35 or more, definitely use that coupon code and save a little more money. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to share with you the dies that I used first. So, the first one that I used is this one here, and it is their button set. So, you get several different little buttons. I believe there's four or five different buttons in there, and I actually used the round button. So, used that set. Then I used one of their newer dies, which is the Jetador Heart. And that is so pretty. And when you see it cut out in here in the mini album, you'll see just how pretty this die cuts out and how it looks. Okay, the next one that I used is the Dogwood Branch and the Blossoms. And I actually just used the Blossoms. I didn't use the Branch, but these little flowers in here are so super cute cut out. So... Yes, for that one. Another one of their new ones that I used is the Swirly Flourish. And again, this one is really, really pretty cut out. And then, let's see. I used a bunch of the nesting dies. First one that I used was the Pennant Banner set. Nesting tags. Love the nesting dies that they have because you get so many and they are just so easy to use. And then the circles. And last but not least, I used the heart nesting dies. So that is all the dies that I used. And then here is the album. So, so cute. So, like I said, the crop is actually for a fur baby. It's for a puppy dog. And, um, so I kind of wanted to do something that was a little, um, themed for a dog. But I also thought that this could really actually be used for, you know, a book about, you know, 
puppy loves. So it uh, doesn't necessarily have to be dog related, but I did want to kind of uh, throw in the little puppy there. So super, super cute. So the papers that I used for this was the Recollections uh, Valentine's papers um, that they came out with this year. And um, these papers worked really, really great with this. So super, super cute. So up here are the little flower blossom dies uh, from the uh, cherry blossom die set. And then I used them down here as well. And then this is the swirly flourish that I cut out of um, some gold metallic paper. And then I cut the uh, heart here out of the nesting dies, the heart dies. Um, this banner here is actually from the cuttables of the paper. But it goes so great. You'll see later on in the album how it goes really, really good with the nesting banners. And then um, I cut the word puppy out of the um, metallic paper with my silhouette. And these borders here are just part of the cutter or cuttable light borders in the paper. And this little stamp here is actually a cuttable paper in the uh, paper collection pack and the little puppy dog here so so cute little scotty dog and um, he was from a paper clip that recollections had they had like six little paper clips with little scotty dogs you know, for valentine's day and i just took him off of the paper clip and used him there so i thought that was really cute so this is actually an envelope album that I created and I used a tutorial that I seen here on YouTube by Baby Tweedums and it was very very simple to uh, work with. She did an excellent tutorial on how to do this album and um, I just can't thank her enough for putting together the tutorial so uh, I was super excited to uh, try it and super super easy. So here is a pocket page and this is just made out of the uh, yeah, pattern papers. And I used the Tim Holtz rosette die here and made a little rosette. And then this again here, the a heart and the uh, yeah, and the, the heart is from the nesting heart dies. And then um, I used a little bling there just to kind of bling it up. And then here is a tag that I made for the nesting tags. Those little hearts are just cuttables from the paper. So you can put a picture there. And then this pulls out as well. And it's just for some journaling. And up here at the top, I use nesting banners. And so on the back, you put another picture. So that just slides right back in there. And then on all of these pages, these pull out. I'm just going to pull this one out because you'll see it in the others. But they all pull out and then you have photo mats. So and I just used a little bling heart there for like the thumb and nail so you'll know to pull that out and this here is just part of the cuttables and it's just a flap flaps back over and then I put uh, some of the paper there that you can journal on again down here is some more of those little stamp cut aparts up here is part of the paper that I cut fussy cut and just put it on some metallic um, paper to kind of make a little pocket and then this pulls out so you put a picture there and then this is the nesting tag die again and you can put another picture there and you can also put a picture in the back as well and again this just slides right up under there okay so then the next page is a flip page so, in the front, what I did is I used another one of the cuttables, 
and I'll put some bling there. And if you see like some gloss to some of these objects, like those uh, hearts right there, I used a um, jelly pen that is, uh, I used the jelly pen, the glitter pen, and then um, the glaze pens. It gives like a glazed look. So really cute. So then you flip that over, and then you have some room for some journaling, and then here is where a picture can slide, and like I said, these are part of the cuttables from the paper. So then that flips up. You have another cuttable here that I put, where you can um, put your photo for the photo mat, and then down here, again, it's another one of those slide outs. Um, right there so you pull that out and you have a photo mat and then this here where it says hugs and kisses that's part of the border uh, cutouts and then a page here for uh, a couple of photos and then over here again I used another one of the cutouts a couple of the little heart cutouts flip it up another one of the heart cutouts you can have some journaling there and then you have a page here for your picture. Okay, so then here, you have another two page like spread. This again is part of the cutouts. And here's another little tag for the nesting tag dies. And then a place here for your picture. And over here, you got another place for two more pictures, and then another one of the cutouts. And again, the slides out for another photo mat. Okay. Then here is another couple of two page spread. Again, part of the cutouts flips up. Yeah, page for another uh, photo, another one of the nesting tag dies. And this is where I used that Jetadora heart. I said, it's so, so pretty. And I kept this to where you can just slide. The picture will just slide up underneath there. It's just on pop dots right here and here. So the pictures will just slide up under there. And they'll kind of be framed by that heart. So that, that was kind of neat. And then this here is uh, just part of one of the banners that I cut to use the word on the banner and then I used the bottom pieces of the fishtail of uh, the banner to make like a little banner down here and this was one of the cutouts and again this is goes right over the picture and then another place for the photo mat and another one of the cutouts and again you pull that out and you have a photo mat And this is another two-page spread. And again, this is where I said that these cutouts work absolutely perfect with the um, nesting banner die. So, just really, really super cute. So, uh, here's a page here where you can put another picture. And these are part of the heart um, nesting dies. And then I cut the little lips out of the paper line. And then here they are too. And then a picture will just slide up under there. So you just kind of like a little um, uh, photo corner. And this page flips up. And again, you have the little lips down there. And then you have um, this little saying that was part of the cutouts. Has some more little lips put up on pop dots couple more pages are places for pictures another photo mat that slides out there and then we are to our very last page and this here is just a little page where and you have like a little belly band there and it goes across with one of the little cutouts this is XOXO and you pull this out, and this is one of the nesting tag dies. And it just says, love you, and that's from the paper line. And then here you put a picture on the back, too, as well, there, if you wanted to. 
And then here is the button die that I used. And this is part of the cutouts. Again, over here, slides out photo map. Flip that over. And you have a place for your journaling. And then here you have another place for a 4x6 picture. And then you pull that out. And you have another tag where you can put a picture. And that just slot pops up. So the picture will just slide right under there. And again, you can put something in the back there too. This is hard to do one handed. I cannot wait till I get my tripod thing for my phone. So then that flips back over. And then this is the pack, and that's another one of the cutouts. It just says made with love. It's a little hard. And that's the back. And then just in case you might want to see, that's what the spine looks like. So that is my design team project. I just think that the album came out super duper cute. I hope you liked. And again, don't forget to go check out Diamond Eyes at www.diamondeyes.com. Place an order. And if it's $35 or more, do not forget to use the coupon code Thanks Michelle, so you get the extra 10% off and free shipping. Super, super awesome deal. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.